I want to get reaction to all of this with former uh, Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore. Governor, what do you make of that? That uh, it's too soon to say, and we're not saying that this is official. It's Maggie Hassan's people saying, "Look, I, I got this seat. It's a Democratic pickup. We're going to have a closer Senate than we thought." You say what? Well, I spent a lot of time in New Hampshire, and uh, I think they haven't even could necessarily call the state yet. But the point is that the Republicans are going to control the Senate no matter what. Uh, Donald Trump is going to be president no matter what. Uh, I love the people of New Hampshire, but at the end of the day, uh, I think Kelly Out was a really great senator. We'll just see how it, how it shakes out. All right. Now, they are arguing, signs, people are arguing that they have got 100 percent of the vote in, but I believe it's in the margin of error that would automatically qualify for a recount, but I'm not sure of that. But having said that, and, and, and the makeup of the of the Hill right now, you have Donald Trump coming in to sort of like a run of the table here, right? I mean, he's got the House and the Senate with him, the reverse of what uh, Barack Obama had when he came in. If you were advising him, what would you tell him to do to take full advantage uh, of, of this unique opportunity? Yeah, and he didn't get Virginia, even though uh, we all campaigned very hard. I gave at least 30 speeches across Virginia for him, as a matter of fact. Maybe but, you should have given advice, 31. That was the problem. Yeah, right maybe there. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But 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 look, you asked me a question. Here's the answer. Uh, I think that just like your previous guest, Mr. Golub, I think that it is essential that the president-elect move forward on a dramatic growth economic policy for the United States. The only way out of this, pro this problem that the American people recognize is we have to grow the revenue and grow the economy. That's what we have to do. And the regulations and the higher taxes that have been imposed in the last eight years have tamped down growth. We all know it. The people of the United States are aware of it in their daily lives. And now they've elected a man to actually supercharge this economy and get the growth up to where it belongs and create something robust. I'm, I'm confident he's going to do that. And, Neil, I think that's why the markets are going up so much. The, the markets understand that now we really have a chance to move this economy forward. Clearly, Hillary Clinton would never have done that. Well, he's certainly been magnanimous since winning, and the other side's been magnanimous. So all the right things and the messages and the signals are, are, are right. We'll see how that follows up. But, Governor, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you.